Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could customize your Windows 11 start menu and taskbar using an app called Start 11. So you could download it and install it. It gives you a 30-day trial. And if you do uh, try it out, make sure you use a valid email address because it's going to want you to validate the email before you could actually start using it. And then, of course, like I said, 30-day trial. So once you're done, if you want to keep using it, 6 bucks for one license, 15 for five. So that's pretty cheap. So definitely worth buying if you like what it does because it does a lot. So I'm just going to kind of give you a brief rundown because, I mean, there's settings upon settings in here, so you'll be here forever tweaking things if you want. So the first thing you'll see is the uh, Start menu here, and then you can just turn it off from there if you want to go back to the default windows. So as you click on them, you could get a little preview, and some of them will have a drop-down. So like Windows 7 style, you could do Regular, Compact, Grid. Oops. doesn't look a whole different. Compact Grid, and the Modern. Windows 10 style, and of course Windows 11 style. So let's say you are uh, you pick a style here, there's a settings gear icon next to each one, and it seems like there's different settings for whichever style you pick here. So you click on that, and then there's just tons of configuration in there. So, you know, themes, if you want to change visual appearances, this brings up a whole other section. Like, let's say you wanted to pick your own color for the start menu. Let's say we wanted to do pink. That kind of thing. Make the fonts bigger. You could adjust transparency of the start menu. But that will only work depending on um, which which style you pick. So it's not going to work for everything. So keep that in mind. And you can just reset if you want to go back to normal. Uh, visual effects, rounded corners, animations, custom menu backgrounds. So I'm going to turn that on and. You know, that kind of thing. Custom grid. So if we turn this off, turn this on. I think it's, see, that only applies to a certain type. So, so that's what you're going to have to look for when you uh, play with these settings here. Oh, what else? So left-hand side shortcuts. How many shortcuts it shows up. The size of the shortcuts. Show them in a grid. Quick access. Show the all programs list. Over here, if we turn that off, doesn't have it anymore. Then what the power button does by default. And then you have start button options here. And so this, you'll notice, um, if you want to do like a custom start button, you'll have to put the uh, start, button, start button on the left-hand side of the screen, which you could do that, and then that activates that. And you could turn that on and pick an image. And it's got some built-in images if you want to change the actual button. See, it's got that little default one there. So if we do some paw prints or something, that kind of thing. And you have taskbar settings for blur and transparency. If you want to texture your taskbar, I mean, carbon fiber, whatever else, that kind of thing. Texture alignment. I'll control what the right click option does. It'll give you some different, more additional options compared to what the uh, default right click on the taskbar uh, options are for Windows 11, which I think are just taskbar settings. I don't think it is actually anything. Change the taskbar size to position. If you have more than one monitor, you could tweak that. The search option, um, it'll have its own search box. And that'll also, actually, that'll depend on the uh, which style you're using, too. Let's see what that does. Might be only for Windows 11. Let's try that. So, like I said, you know, you're going to have to play with this to get it to, to find all the settings here. So, there's the search bar there. If we turn that off. Now it's gone. So like I said, each the settings will vary on depending on the style. So let's go back to 
Uh, control options, uh, clicking the start button opens this menu, or you could have it pick just the regular window, Windows menu. Same with the Windows key on the keyboard, you could have it open the start menu or just the normal ones. So you could actually, let's say you want to have, turn that off. So clicking on start opens that, pressing the Windows key. Let's try that. Does that. So Windows key, there's the Windows 11 menu. Clicking start, does that menu. So you could kind of, you know, customize that as well. And that's about it. So like I said, there's tons of different settings here depending on what you want to do. And if you just want it off, you could do that too. And you're back to that. So, okay, I'll put a link in the description for the software. Then you could uh, try it out for 30 days. And if you like it, then it's six bucks for one computer. And you'll be able to really uh, make some changes here. So just, yeah, just play around with it. And like I said, um, certain settings will only apply to certain styles. And you'll kind of figure that out as you go along like I did. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.